Hey y'all, <laughs> forgot to record me cutting this stuff, but anyhow, we uh, come down here to my little wood yard. That's uh, got pine, big old cedar log. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I thought about making some boards out of it or just burn it. But I done cut these into 16 inch rounds. I'm gonna split it up this evening or today. Yeah, yeah, this is 16 inch rounds, I guess, or, or 16 inches long. Some a little longer than others, but anyways. Um, they're probably, let's see my arm, about 12 inches. Yeah, about 12 inches on the end of them, on the tip. Uh, about 16 to 18 on the, on the butt. I got three of them here, and I got some pine logs I'm gonna bring down here. I'm gonna split that pine up. I got another couple pine logs. I'm gonna take a couple pine logs and use them for, for uh, put logs on. Kind of getting slowly into this. I'm still new to this stuff. Uh, hell, last year I, I split up some wood and everybody bought it. So I said, well, I'll split some more and I'll be here if they want it. If they don't, then I'll burn it because I like that front porch living. I don't have a fireplace in my house being a manufactured home. We decided not to do it because it costs extra money. Now I'm regretting it because I wish I had a fireplace. But anyhow, I got one on my front porch. Hey, I don't have to worry about stinking up the inside of the house, I guess. But uh, this is a splitter I got. Uh, it's a black diamond. I think, yeah. Black Diamond, 27 ton, just your box store splitter, uh, big box store, however you want to call it. It's got a Briggs and Stratton motor on it. And this here I got, I bought this at, uh, I bought this, the splitter at, at uh, Atwoods. And then the, this here I bought at Tractor Supply and it's useless. Anyhow, but this is what I split wood with. A uh, little, so of course, you know, Everything's set up where you can fall and get broke. Typical stuff. But yeah, and uh, this here is my little wood yard. That's stuff that's, that uh, I can't sell, I guess, or I could sell it, but I'm not, I'm gonna burn it. That's oak. We're gonna go ahead and check fuel in it. It's full. Hopefully it's not full of water because it's been sitting out here a minute. Under tarp. Man, look where you gotta check that oil. It's way under there. Hold on. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Holding the camera. Gah, there we go. Woo. Tell y'all. You get to be after a certain age, you get kind of stiff. Yep, but all. The hell it came out when I moved it. Alright, damn. It's sitting somewhat level. Alright, we're gonna get that screwed back in. And uh, we're gonna drag it over there to the wood, and uh, whoop, there it is, the wood, and we're gonna try to. Uh, well, we're gonna get some wood split. And, uh, there you go. Alrighty. Well, yep, got it moved over here. We facing get splitting. I know I probably could have. About the only place I can get it set up and be kind of level because we're on a hill. I know it's hard to tell on these videos. I am gonna get that basket, I'm gonna bring it down over here, and that way, as I split it, I can stack it and everything. Drag right, this over here. Yep, see if I can't do it one hand. Be all macho. <laughs> yep, it's gonna take two hands. All right, all right, I got it set over. So, I stand on this side, set the round over there, you know, bust it, bust it down, and I'll throw them in there. I'm gonna see if I can't, hopefully I'll be able to get y'all some footage of me doing that without hurting myself or my phone or, well, I got that Apple Care and that thing from the phone company where if I break it, they'll replace it. 
I just don't want to spend the money cheap like that. Anyway. Whew. All right. Well, let's see if we can't get this show on the road. I'm going to put my muffs on, which I'm going to tell y'all, I mean, I'm not Captain Safety. And in my line of work, safety is very important. But these, uh, these 3M deals here with the radio and stuff, that's the way to go. You hear me? Listen to your jams. And protect your ears all at the same time. Your wife calls you when you're in the middle of work and you can answer the phone and stuff. I don't really care for the Bluetooth part. But anyways, um, yeah, we first get over and get this started. see that's pretty tough these rounds here are real heavy got a lot of water and we had a lot of rain yes, they are heavy these I don't think are real heavy but that that there is heavy well hell you, that's almost a half a half of a third of wood yes sir these here, I don't know, let me, I don't, I don't ain't out to hurt myself. I have a regular job. These I could probably handle a little better. But, this is pretty much how I'm set up. And, uh, yeah. 
this little operation something to kind of keep me in shape you have a good day